Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. This is Josh, welcome to my channel, Urban Armed. Um, basically, this is the first video on my 1991 80 series Toyota Land Cruiser. <laughs> So I've been wanting an additional four-wheel drive vehicle. Uh, when I say an addition, into in addition to my uh, 2019 Tacoma, which uh, if you've seen any videos on my channel recently, you've probably seen it. Been doing some trips in that. Haven't really modified it that much. Mostly just kind of cosmetic and stuff for camping. Uh, but if you want to see the changes that are coming to that, uh, definitely hit the subscribe button. Uh, there's uh, I'm not really get into it, but uh, I got into an accident and I got hit from the rear, pushed into the car in front of me, and the car's the the Tacoma's been down for uh, almost close to two months. So it took a month and oh, a little over a month and a half uh, to to get it back. Just got it back last week, and there's still some things that are not not right sitting well with me. So you know it's 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 a process. I'll, I'll work through it, but if you want to see uh how that is going <laughs> i'll be putting out some videos and i got some neat things coming up for that so definitely appreciate the subscription uh, if you're interested in toyotas and off-roading and camping and all that so this is my newly acquired uh almost 29 year old vehicle uh this is a 91 this is a 80 series i've been looking for one of these particular models for quite a while somewhere between 90 and 94 uh, I, I like the newer ones too, but I like the solid front and rear axle. Um, I wanted a solid axle uh, four four by four, and so this was this was uh, this fit the bill for me. So it has 195,000 miles on it. Uh, it does not have. It's all on the original engine. The engine is in great looking shape and drives well. No oil leaks. Been through the car. It's uh, an original Colorado car it's never really been registered outside the state so i've gone through the bottom with my brother it's been really well kept and taken care of the paint on it is actually what's called a monster monster m-o-n-s-t-a liner uh, like a rhino liner so it has that bed liner feel and texture to it and it was already in this color, which I love. If you've seen my Tacoma, it's a similar color. I, I, I call it FDE, like flat dark earth, like Magpul's color. But a lot of times it's called uh, sandstorm or quicksand or something like that. And then it has the front stripe down the center to reduce glare off the hood to match the fenders. Really well sealed everywhere. And I just, I was, I was really happy that it was already this color. The body's in fantastic shape doesn't appear to have ever really been hit or fixed. Uh, and it just really kind of exceeded my expectations on how well everything was kept on this, as far as the window moldings, the mechanicals, the openers, only, only mechanical things wrong with it are is one door doesn't lock, which is a rear passenger door, and one rear uh, window doesn't roll up and down off of the switch, things that are easy to fix and a vehicle that's almost 30 years old, there's, you know, it's gonna happen. So I'll just kind of run through a couple of the um, uh, specs on this thing. It's sitting on uh, BF Goodrich KO2s. These are 33 inch tires. It's got a full size spare as well. Uh, the uh, uh, sitting on Old Man Emu, there's a two inch lift on this with rancho shocks and they're fairly new so i shouldn't have to really do much of anything suspension wise uh, i came with the prinzu roof rack which is cool i uh don't have to buy a roof rack and i already use a prinzu on my tacoma so i can kind of you know mix and match stuff back and forth i don't have my rooftop set uh tent set up to go on my prinzu roof rack but i might look at uh doing that change up so i can put our, uh, my CVT tent on this guy, and I will be picking up a new tent for uh, the Tacoma. I'm looking at the iCamper. Um, I think it's the Sky, Sky something version two. It's kind of low profile hard shell. So that's kind of on, uh, on my list of what I'm looking at. So I have two basically rigs that I can go out camping with, take family, friends, everything else. It did come with a snorkel, which is really neat. I don't plan on swamp driving through swamps in this thing, but 
to get that cleaner, fresher air uh, from up high versus getting dust, as you can see, you know, I'm, I'm, I live in dirt, essentially. Uh, 11 miles of dirt just to get to a paved road uh, from the ranch. So I eat a lot of dirt. The trucks are always dirty. People, I used to be super, you know, clean freak and clean everything. And when you live off dirt roads, you kind of let that go by the wayside. So having a snorkel is going to be really convenient to uh, have clean air. So this steel bumper is uh, by Trail Gear and it is uh, set up to have a winch, which I will put one on here. And then just has some, you know, basic, basic uh, fog lights, amber lights, a uh, little 20 inch light bar. All of these are wired and work fine. They're not necessarily like name brand. So I think these are all just pretty much Amazon slash eBay purchases. Um, but nice to ha already have the bumper on, everything's wired, so I can easily swap out different lights if I want to. Um, there is a 40 inch light bar inside the Prinzu, inside, but like, you know, in the cutout, and it currently does not work. Um, so, you know, again, it was a cheap light. Whoever had it before, uh, just threw them on, and that's the only light that doesn't work. But um, we'll either try to troubleshoot that or probably replace it as it's already wired in, so it'd be fairly easy to, to use. But other than that, um, also the, the headlights have upgraded lights in them. Um, this, I think they're just the bulbs though, but they do put out a brighter, um, a brighter light, which is nice. They kind of have that projector light look to it, but these are just the factory housings. Um, but all the lights, I mean, all mechanically and electronically, everything worked out really well. All right, so you can see a couple little things. Um, it's missing the window washer. Uh, uh, nozzle that shoots the fluid onto the window not a big deal uh, it does have these rear lights um, on on each side which are great if you're camping you can pop pop everything open and it's on the sides so it'll shoot through so if you're cooking or doing anything on the back um, you got you got some lights back here so it did come with uh, all three rows of seats um, these I'll probably not really use. I'll probably take them out and store them as I really would like to have uh, some options for building out some shelving, maybe put a slider in here for a refrigerator. I'm not really sure. I'm just kind of thinking, <laughs> there's a lot of things I'm thinking, um, but when you have multiple vehicles that you're kind of building out for, you kind of have to um, have your, your wish list and prioritize. So. I would like to have something though set up where if I am using a Dometic, it'd be easy to switch back and forth from the Land Cruiser to the Toyota or the Tacoma. Uh, and I, I'm trying to keep things as interchangeable as possible, but some things will obviously be fitted for each vehicle uh, in particular. So it does have all the seat belts. I mean, the interior is in great shape. I'll bring you in for some close ups of that. Uh, it's carpeted, it's, it's just really well kept. I, I just really couldn't be happier with the uh, the condition inside and out and underneath of this vehicle. It drives so smooth, and I uh, I just feel really lucky to have come across it. So so overall, really good find. Really happy with it. Some of the things to look for if you're kind of in the market for a used, fairly old vehicle like this particular Land Cruiser here is. Um, Checking the hinges, checking the door panels, checking the pistons, the gas pistons on things like the tailgate. Um, these are obviously not originals. They've been replaced. And it's just little things like that uh, that I look for as far as like how well the car has been maintained, the little details, all of the rubber seals and gaskets uh, throughout the car, especially the seals around the windows, um, just the fitment of everything. Uh, the gaps between the tailgate and the taillights. It's a good indicator if it's ever been hit and, and repaired. Um, Carfax indicated this has not been hit. So, wow, what a miracle. Um, even the bumper itself on top is coated in the same material, this monster lining, um, and has a, a receiver hitch down below, which is nice. I don't know, I, I don't know if this is the original OEM bumper. It's, I mean, it might be, I guess so. I don't know these cars well enough to know about all the OEM parts, but this is steel. It's got a receiver. It's wired for a trailer, for trailer lights. 
Uh, I just, you know, there's a couple little things that are wrong. It's got a crack in the uh, dash. Um, it does have an aftermarket stereo system and all the speakers do work. I'll probably be kind of updating that a little bit. Nothing crazy. Um, I do plan to put a kill switch in this, so it will be a lot harder for someone to steal it as these things are stolen pretty easily and pretty often. So yeah, I mean, the even the sunroof still works. It's a little slow, but it does open and close just fine and it seals really well at the top. Uh, yeah, so I'm really... I'm really lucky to have found this. Uh, I'm happy that I was able to snag it and get it at such a, a great price. Um, for those that are curious, it was 8,500 bucks. So I feel like that was a pretty good, pretty good deal. Originally they were asking uh, about nine grand and able to get it for 8,500. And uh, the guy that sold it to me is a really nice guy. He's doing a hundred series build. And when I went to go pick it up, I went to his house and I got to see that. I didn't get any photos or anything because I felt weird asking us, hey, can I video this, your, your other car? Um, kind of a stranger and I'm at his house. So I, I didn't get any photos, but it was a really nice uh, 100 series, like a 2003 or 2005 or something like that. Um, but I was uh, able to get this from him because he's re he's building that out now as his new, his new rig. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just kind of wanted to, do a little introduction of this onto the channel. Uh, you'll probably see a lot more of it and some uh, upcoming adventures. I gotta get out and test it out a little bit other than just driving around on the ranch. I haven't really driven it at all. I've actually only <laughs> driven it twice since I bought it because I'm out of town. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited to be in town for a while and hopefully, well, I gotta get it registered. You gotta get a tag on it, you know, just stupid stuff like that. But uh, I'm happy to, to uh, make a video on this and share it. So if you like it, appreciate the subscription. Follow me on Instagram. That's probably where I'm most active, which is Urban Armed. And uh, if you have any ideas or suggestions, things I need to look out for or be aware of, I'm pretty new to these models, uh, Land Cruisers in general, and would love any, any input tips, pro tips, anything like that. Um, I don't really plan on modifying it a whole lot. Throw some sliders on it. And most of the, everything else will just be kind of like for camping and that kind of thing. So yeah, appreciate any feedback and I uh, hope you're all having a great beginning of your December. So uh, until next time and catch you later.